What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I felt a little uh, feisty and decided to do a full glute focused workout. So I thought why not take you honeys along with me. I have been doing all of my workouts from home with very minimal equipment, very space conscious equipment if you will. So I thought maybe give some tips and tricks to those who are thinking about trying to work on them glutes, progressive overload and grow them from home. So do not get it twisted. This is where our couch usually is, but you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta make some sacrifices. So we just moved the couch and made it look like our little gym space. So as you can see, the main things I like to use from home are basic dumbbells. I only have dumbbells that go up to 25 pounds. It's all good, you don't need to go crazy. I got a super affordable Amazon bench. I actually do hip thrusts with an easy bar. Takes up no space. Now, I am about to use an Olympic side bar up in this here apartment. It's gonna go through a window in my new TV. Can't have it. So I've actually been just putting a like barbell pad on here. You don't feel nothing. It feels really nice. Small, compact way to do hip thrusts. Just saying. We got basic plates that only go up to 25 pounds. Again, guys, I know a lot of people are not going to the gym. We are not going to the gym. It's tough to grow glutes from home, but even lower weight, can still do the trick. It's about the methods that you use and integrate into your routine that really help you to maximize your glute workouts from home. Our newest equipment that we just ordered, so guys, there's still weights online that are still in stock. From Titan Fitness, we got a 30 pound and a 50 pound fixed. And of course, you know, you can't do nothing without warming up with a glute band. Super underrated. Okay, you can get a mean pump with just a glute band. So let's go ahead and get into this video, share with you my glute growing routine. But if you are not already, definitely hit that subscribe button, girl. What do you wait for? Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness. Because together we got this, baby. Come on, baby, let's pop that peach up a little bit. So when you're trying to get that real round, plump, perfect peach, Keep in mind, there are three glute muscles. You got your maximus, medius, and minimus. We are working all of them today. We need that perfect circle, baby. So let's go ahead, get into the routine. Always starting with a glute band, always. You gotta really get that resistance going, get the blood circulated, wake up those glute muscles because you don't wanna pull an ass muscle. That's the worst feeling in the world. You won't be able to walk for days. I just want to make it super clear. I am not a freaking power lifter by any means. Like I don't lift to like max out and things like that. I kind of just can't. My lower back with scoliosis does not allow me to do a lot of sh So I do what I can. So always do what's comfortable for you. Now that we got the warm up out of the way, we are hopping into getting that hourglass, that lower body. We want it to look like a freaking peach or pear, whichever you prefer. So we need to get Right here, man, we need some girth in our hips. So that means we are gonna be focusing on the side glutes, minimus and medius. And let me share with you my routine. I'm grabbing a 25 pound plate, but feel free to get whatever you got going around, girl. Grab a dumbbell if you will. I like to do this on my bench, so you got a little bit of that range of motion. Bits. And um, you gonna feel that freaking burn. Let's get that side booty going. I'm ready. Let me get summer ready. And guys, I know a lot of people prefer to do these standing. I totally get it. You can do these standing, no problem. I personally like to lay though, because the point of tension, the gravity, just laying right on top of you. You're not using a lot of your shoulder muscle. You're actually using more of your glute muscle. So that's how I prefer to do things. Now I'm grabbing my handy dandy fixed barbell. Fixed barbells are the best thing ever invented. Just so you know, ain't nobody got time for sliding plates, sorry. Especially because these are going over my shoulders and I'm going to be performing curtsy lunges. Ah, oh, it's like a dance move. 
Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's going to work your side glute as well. Girl, if you try these at home with some weight, you're gonna feel it the next day. You won't be sorry, but in a good way. Side booty on fire. That's what we want, that's the goal, okay? Trying to get that plump dump. Yeah. Now don't get it twisted. That workout requires a ton of balance. So before ever lifting weight, if you're new to this exercise, always do it without weight. Get that form down. Make sure you ain't gonna topple over. You don't want that when you go weight on your shoulders. So always do it without weight first till you get comfortable enough to add, slowly add in. All right guys, so last exercise we're gonna perform our hydrants. I'm grabbing now my heaviest glute band. Before, I had a medium resistance glute band. Now this is heavy, and now it's getting real and raw. Using a higher resistance glute band is really good for keeping that tension going. That's where you're really gonna maximize. When you're under constant tension during your workout, ha, there's no break. You're done for, you're done. Let's also incorporate some clam shells. Woo! -hoo! Girl, I best not even get too tired. Those clam shells, oh, that's like the icing on the cake. We are done working the side boots, okay? Now onto the really good stuff. We are going to be jumping right into working the Maximus right now, okay? The biggest muscle on the entire booty. When you think booty, this is the muscle you're gonna wanna focus severely on. You want max gains on your Maximus? I got one word, nope, I mean two words. <laughs> hip thrusts. Okay, so like I said earlier, the way I like to do my hip thrusts, minus the Olympic bar, plus it's super freaking pricey, get yourself a little, small, easy bar, or better yet, a small, straight bar. You don't need these curves. These are for your upper body. I just use this because it's all I have right now, but if you get a little straight bar, you got yourself like a mini hip thrust bar, which is perfect, and you're good to go. This is my hip thrust right here, okay? I swear by hip thrusts. I only started doing them not even two years ago. Never knew about them before then, but now that I do know about them, and I've seen the biggest glute growth with them, I will never look back. They're personally my number one when it comes to getting a freaking bomb peach going in your pants, girl. Try it if you haven't. So we are starting with 70 pounds. I gotta admit to you guys that because I have such a bad lower back, I really try to progressive overload on the glutes. Sometimes it hurts. This is why my hip thrusts aren't exactly hip thrusts. I do static holds. It is a constant state of tension on my glutes, but I, you will not see me go up and down because of my lower back. So FYI, if you have back pain, have some strong muscular man like Bay. Carefully place the weight on your hips and just hold it there for the love of God. But if you do not have lower back pain, bless your soul, definitely go through with the whole hip thrust. It is really good for muscle contraction, stretching, growth, all of that good stuff. But your girl, she just can't, can't do it. All right guys, so I just performed three sets of 30 seconds. Sometimes I push myself and I'll go to like 40, 45 seconds, sometimes even a minute if I'm feeling up to it. That was at 70 pounds and then I repeated that with an additional 20 pounds that I put on. Now I've reached my limit and I'm kind of almost out of weights to stack on. Yeah, that's what I'm working with, but no biggie, okay? Now I'm gonna complete my hip thrust with a burnout session with a 30 pound fixed barbell that I can do with my lower back, so it's no problem. I'm going to do a burnout session. I'm gonna tear it up, and that's how I'm gonna cap off those hip thrusts. Guys, keep in mind, if you do not have a lot of weight to move around, you're kind of limited with weight, no problem. Use what you got and never underestimate burnout sessions. Increase the reps 
until your bum is literally about to fall off, okay? You will feel it the next day, I promise. Muhammad Ali actually said that he don't start counting until it starts hurting, so I kind of took that upon myself to try that out and it, it definitely helps, don't even think about it. Another great challenge if you're limited is to take very minimal rest, okay? You don't have to spend a few minutes just resting, playing on your phone in between sets. Just kind of go back to back, even super sets, where you do like similar exercises, three or more exercises in a row back to back with little to no rest, okay? There's no shame in that game. If you don't feel like you need a rest, why rest? Keep going at it, challenge yourself a little bit. The very last thing that I like to do when working my glutes is yes, you're not gonna wanna hear it, but I like to do some squatting, but I can't do heavy weight. So I just pretty much take my 30 pound fixed barbell, do some regular squats, and then I add in burnout sessions of jump squats. So I kind of use my own body weight as resistance in that way to really, I'm sorry, get the gains that I want. The next day, every time I do jump squats, the next day, my legs, my glutes, everything's just kind of like, poof, okay, it does something to my lower body. Now, this isn't solely glute focused like the other exercises you just saw, but it absolutely incorporates your glute muscles if performed properly. So do not underestimate it, man. Unfortunately, squats, they do something, man, they do it. Okay, because I'm only using 30 pounds and it's lightweight, for an extra challenge, I like to just kind of do static holds, pulses, pulses. If you don't incorporate pulses, what are you doing? Time under tension, baby. Let's get it. Oh yeah, baby. Nothing we like more. And a nice pumperoo. Oh, oh yeah. This is what we do it for. Yeah. I know you see me wearing that new animal because you know your girl needs a fat scrunch butt, right? I ain't gonna deny it. Sometimes you just need to do what you gotta do. All right guys, so that was my workout for today. Glute focused. This is just what I personally like to do, my favorites from home, to kind of maximize my home workouts with some weight what I got laying around, to try to kind of maintain those glutes, okay? I'm sorry, I know it's hard when you don't have heavy weight accessible, but do what you can with what you got. Make it work. We gotta get those gains, girl. Woo, and as always, if you guys have any questions, hit me up, comment down below, okay? Let's have some conversations down there, shall we? Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I will catch you in my next video.